In this tutorial, we will learn how to reverse the physics simulation for any particular object in Blender, while keeping all other objects and other physics simulations forward moving. Just in case you want to reverse everything or all actions in a scene, it is rather simple. You have to first render your scene as an image sequence, then you'll import that image sequence to the video sequence editor that comes with Blender. Then under the video properties, we have to enable this option called reverse frames. Now if we create our output, we'll get all actions reversed. But this is not what we need, if we want to reverse only one single object, for example if we want to reverse only this cloth physics, we have to first convert the physics simulation into keyframes. So let's select the flag. Then go to the object menu, and apply all the transformations for the flag. Next, in the modifiers tab, we have to ensure that there is no other modifier added to the flag, apart from the cloth modifier which is added by Blender as we enable the cloth physics. Now we have to go to the file menu, and then under export, we need to use the option called Lightwave Point Cache. If you can't see this option in your Blender version, just open Preferences from this edit menu. Then go to the Add-ons tab, and in the search box, let's type the word MDD. So we'll get this new tech MDD format, and we need to enable it from here. Once it is enabled, the MDD format will be visible in the export menu. So let's select this option, then navigate to the location where you want to save this temporary file, and then export it. Once complete, we'll remove the cloth physics for our flag. If we now run this, we'll see that there is no animation for the flag, which is obvious, because we just removed it. Now we have to again go to the file menu, and this time under import, we'll select the same Lightwave point cache. Then go to the file location, where we have saved our MDD file, and import this MDD. Once the import is complete, if we play the animation, our flag will again show the cloth-like behavior, although we don't have cloth physics enabled. This is actually being driven by a set of shape keys, added from the MDD. If we select the flag, and open the graph editor, we can see a set of keyframes. And to reverse the physics action for our flag, we have to simply reverse these keyframes. Let's first go to frame number 125, which is midway between the start frame and the end frame. Now select all the keyframes by pressing A on your keyboard. Then go to the key menu, and under mirror, select times over current frame. So this will flip all the keyframes together, which we can verify in the viewport. Let's run the simulation from the beginning. We'll see that the flag is moving backward, which is shown by the wave pattern, while all other objects are moving forward, and the flag will fall down at the end. So this way we can reverse the cloth physics for a single object or a group of objects, and this technique can be also used for the dynamic paint, or even to reverse a soft body physics. Now, we will discuss how to reverse a rigid body physics. Let's say we want to reverse the rigid body physics for all these balls. So we have to first select them together. If a non-rigid body got selected, just remove it. Now click on any one rigid body, to make it our active selection, which is indicated by this orange color. Now go to the object menu, and then go to relations, go to make single user, and select object animation, to delink the objects. Then again from the object menu, under rigid body, select bake to keyframes. If you want, here you can change the range of the keyframes that you want to bake, and then finally click on the OK button. It can take some time to complete, and once done, we'll see that some keyframes are added to the location and the rotation. While the balls are still selected, we have to open the graph editor, just like the previous case. It looks complex because it contains the keyframes for all the selected objects, for all the channels, and we have to reverse them. So let's go to frame number 125, which is the midpoint between these two. Now again from the key menu, under mirror, we have to select, times over current frame. And the keyframes will all get reversed together. Then back to our viewport, we can run the animation, and verify the result. The balls have started from a scattered position. The cloth physics of the flag is forward moving, while the balls are following a reverse physics, to create the initial pyramid. So this way, we can easily reverse almost any physics simulation in Blender. However, there is one exception to this, which is fluid physics, because we still don't have any easy way to reverse a smoke or a fire, but in case you know how to also reverse a fluid physics, you can kindly share that in the comments section below. So I hope you like this quick tutorial on reverse physics, and you find it useful. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.